Hey everyone, welcome to your second DNA Master tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to import a FASTA file into DNA Master so that you can finally begin your annotation process. So in the last tutorial we covered on how to download a DNA Master to your PC or to a Mac that's running a virtual machine. So now that's all good, we have the program up and running, but we need a file to begin working on. So DNA Master takes in what's called a FASTA file. It's kind of the universal file type for DNA sequences. It's used for BLAST and other things. So any bioinformatics work usually uses FASTA files. So DNA Master is no exception. So to get your FASTA file, you would have had to have your phase sequence and it would have to have been uh, finished and polished and uploaded to Phages DB. So once that's all ready to go, what you do to get your FASTA file is you go to phagesdb.org and you type your phage in. I'm going to type my phage just so I can use it as an example. You click on the page, scroll down a little bit, and here it is. Under sequencing information, the last row says FASTA file available. Yes, download FASTA file. So we're going to click download FASTA file. And we're going to save it somewhere. Um, I'll just save it to my desktop. And if you're using a virtual machine, this is where you have to be careful. You're going to have to save it to your virtual machine desktop and not your computer desktop so that you'll be able to have access to it on virtual machine, on the, the virtual machine. So you're going to have to download it using a browser, an internet browser within the virtual machine, or somehow get it to your virtual machine desktop. So now that we have the FASTA file, we can head back into DNA Master. And what we're going to do to import it in is we're going to go under File, Open, and there's many options here, but we're going to go down and select FASTA Multiple Sequence File. Just click on that, and we'll click uh, the location that we saved it to. Here it is, Convoy FASTA File, and we're going to open that. So now we're going to get this window here, which has the full sequence and everything like that. It says your, um, your phage, your host, and how many base pairs, and other things like that. So... What we're going to do is go into the bottom right corner here in this little area. Just hit the thing that says export and it gives you a couple options as well. We're going to click the top one, create sequence from this entry only. And it's going to take a couple seconds, um, but this is going to pop up here. So now your file is loaded into DNA Master, but it's not fully complete yet. One last thing you want to do before moving on is you want to check if the length of your file in DNA Master matches the length listed on phages db so go up here um, under the sequences tab and you'll see 70,096 base pair length we're going to just double check that on phages db and yes definitely they match 70,096 so that's good to go if they don't match you may want to try restarting the program or re-downloading the fasta file off of phages db and that's it guys we have the file now loaded into dna master so in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to run auto annotate and how to finally begin the annotation process. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.